Hey, Jorge Armando Navarro here, creator and founder of Network Engineer Academy. And today I want to challenge myself. And that challenge is I want to go over what's the OSI model under 10 minutes. So I'm not going to give you a lot of details on each layer of the OSI model. I'm just going to go over, go over on an overview of what you really need to know about the OSI model. So let's say you're on the uh, job interview, right? And someone asks you, can you tell me something about the OSI model? So that's basically the information that I'm going to go over with you today. Okay, so let's begin. So what's the OSI that stands for? That's Open Systems Interconnection. Now, do you need to know that? Hell no, but it's good to write it down, right? Now, what's the OSI model? And that's basically uh, a reference model of applications and how to communicate on the network. So let me show you. So let's say computer A wants to communicate with computer B, right? So it has to be a process and that's basically the OSI model. And that's divided on seven layers that I'm going to go over with you under 10 minutes right now. So it's how these two PCs are going to communicate with each other, right? So let's begin with the first layer of the seven layers of the OSI model, okay? So the first, uh, well, let's go over first the seven layers, right? So we have layer seven, that's the application layer. We have layer six, the presentation layer, la layer five, that, that's the session layer, and the more critical layers that I think are, are layer four, layer three, and layer two. Layer four, there's that transport layer, the layer three, that's the network layer, and the layer two, that's the data link layer. And the last one, but not the least, and I guess layer number one, it's the physical layer. So right now, let's go over just a few bullet points about each layer, okay? And also look up for those videos because I'm gonna create a video for one of each one of each of the uh, layers of the OSI model. Okay, so let's begin. So the application layer, obviously it's layer seven. So what, in, so what it does, right? So it's user interface and data generation and communication between software applications. This means that that's when, let's say you open Google Chrome, right? You wanna surf the internet, you come out with that website. So you're using the website and that's you, so that's some interaction, right? So that's the application with the end user, the end user that's me and you. And that's basically how we start with the OSI model, right? right? That process, that user interface, and that data, data generation. Now, let's go with the presentation layer, and that's the layer six of the OSI model. And we have two points, right? We have data representation, encryption, and compression. Good to know that in the presentation layer, that's when encryption, and compression happens. So when you talk, when, when you hear about uh, in the IT about encryption, you know when you encrypt something to be secure, a file, a document, that's encryption. That's happening on the presentation layer. Compression, remember, you know you have probably a folder and you want to compress it. So instead of being, I don't know, 20 megabytes, you probably want, once you compress it, it's going to go to 15, 10. So that happens on the presentation layer. Now, there are representation is because all ones and zeros have to communicate one way to another. And that's basically what happens on the presentation layer. And I'm going to go in more detail once um, I create a video just for the presentation layer. Okay. But let's now go to layer five and that's the session layer. And here's where things start um, getting more interesting. And that's basically when you establish a connection from computer A to computer B. That's on the session layer when they, it starts establishing that connection, okay? Now, maintenance and termination connection. It's the same thing, right? You connect, it's a, uh, you establish that connection from computer A to computer B. Now it will, on the session layer, it will maintain and also terminate, right? It will decide, you know, should I trust you that connect, uh, your computer? Yes, okay, so let's um, establish that connection and also I'm gonna decide when to end that connection, that connection. So that happens once again on the network layer, that's the, ne the layer five of the OSI model. So let's jump into the layer four and that's a transport layer, okay? So on layer four, two things, right? Ensures that message are delivered, right? And message traffic control and reliability. And that basically is or means that we use two protocols. We use TCP and UDP. One of them is reliable and the other one is not. And I'm gonna go more in detail on the whiteboard right now once I put all this together, okay? Now, the network layer, that's layer three of the OSI model. So let's go over those two points. First point, path determination, and that's when it's routing, 
That's what happens, right? And that basically is IP addressing, logical addressing. Well, why logical addressing? It's because, as you know, right? Computers, for them to communicate to one computer to another computer or one host to another host, they have to have an IP address. And that IP address will change, will eventually change, right? That's why we call it a logical address because it will change, right? Now, we also work here with IP version 4, 32 bit, and IP version 6, that's a new one, and that's 128 bit, right? So now, let's go over data link layer, and that's basically the layer 2 of the OSI model, okay? So let's go over those two uh, bullet points. It provides connection between host and the same network, and you think, okay, the same network, something else that has to cross your mind is switching, right? So data link layer switching it provides connection between host and the same network. Now MAC addressing, so we don't use IP addressing as uh, with the network layer. We use MAC addressing, and that's physical addressing. Why? Just because. Remember, MAC addresses in any the computer, right? A host that basically has a MAC address, they will never change. It comes from the manufacturer, so that will never change. Okay. Now let's go to the last. But not least, the la layer one, that that's the application layer of the OSI model. And let's go over those two bullet points, right? So we have access to media, physical transmission, and that's basically the last layer where it's gonna about to go from point A all the way to point B. And that's bits, right? So all ones and zeros, they're gonna go from point A to point B, and it can go through electrical, when we use copper like uh, cable, it can go through uh, light, that's when we use fiber optic cable, or it can go to radio waves, and that's basically when we use wireless. That happens on the application layer, okay? So now let's jump into the board and go over a few things that I wanna show you, and I'm gonna also repeat myself because I really wanna make sure that you get this information, okay? So just remember, let's jump into the, to the whiteboard. So application layer, remember, that's the layer one of the OSM model. Then we have the presentation layer. So let me put it right here so it looks really nice. The other one, we have the session layer. So we have the application layer, seven layer of the OSI model, presentation, that's the sixth layer of the OSI model, the session, that's the five layer of the OSI model, transport, that's a layer four of the OSI model, and then we have the network, remember, layer three of the OSI model, and I know I'm repeating myself too many times, but that's good because I really wanna make sure that you get this information, right? That you train it to your head somehow or another. Now, Layer two, that's the data link layer. And we have the physical layer, and that's the layer one of the OSI model. Now, I have something here, switches. So what do you think switches work on the OSI model? Right, that will be in the, exactly, the data link layer, right? Now, what else? We have MAC addresses. What do you think MAC addresses will work on the network layer? No, right, it works in the data link layer. So let's put it right here, okay, the MAC addresses. Now I have routers. Routers, I think about it. Routers, correct. That's on the network layer of the OSI model. Now I have a few other ones here. I have frames. So what do you think frames are gonna work with? Uh, let's see. So frames are gonna work here with the data link layer. Okay, remember, frames, switches, data link layer. Okay, MAC addresses. Packets. Packets, what do you think? That's another thing, right? So. When we have this process, when computer A is gonna communicate with computer B, I mean, each layer, when it goes through, that's something that it's get adding more information and adding more information and adding more information. And that information goes to something called PDUs. So I'm gonna put it right here, right? So it's PDUs. And if I'm not mistaken, that's packet uh, data units, packet data units, right? So each layer, it's a, uh, it starts with one, the application, and then it goes to the presentation, puts more information, and that's another uh, packet data unit. So now, when we uh, go through the uh, packets data units and the data link layer, we call it frames. So I'm gonna put it right here, okay? So it's called frames, okay? Now, packets, that goes on the network layer. So when that PDU comes through a network layer, now we call it packet. Now we have segments. So what do you think segments go? The application, 
I know, no, it's not, of course. So segments goes to goes to the transport layer, right? Now the top three, that will be only data, data, and data. Okay. So these PDUs, the pa uh, packets data unit. So I'm gonna put it right here. And the application is just data. It goes to the presentation. It's just more data. And that station, more data, but then it goes with that transport layer, and then we have segments. Those segments go into packets, right, the PDU and the network, and then we have friends. Now, physical, what do you think what I have here is, and the physical? Bits, right, because it's ones and zeros. And once again, that's basically when you have that, that, that information, it's gonna go from computer A to computer B, and ones and zeros, it's gonna go with electrical signal. It can go through light, remember, right? Uh, fiber optic cable or wireless when we have the uh, radio waves, right? So what else do I have here? So I have a MAC address. So obviously MAC addresses go here in the data link layer. And the last one that I have here is an IP address. And we know routers work with IP addresses, okay? Now, what else can I tell you here? Um, so I can end this video with more information, more value to you. Uh, application, application that's many protocols that work in the application layer as probably you know by now. Which, one, which ones are one of the uh, uh, a few protocols? So let me uh, come up with a few. So we have HTTP, right? That's basically uh, what we use for web. Uh, the other one is FTP, and that's file transfer protocol. Uh, we have, let's see, what else, what else? DNS, right? Uh, what else we have? We have uh, pub3, we have IMAP and those are email protocols. Uh, we have Telnet, right? Connections, Telnet. And I know that's a few more, but just to keep it, uh, keep it simple. Now, on the presentation layer, uh, I don't have anything to say about that right now. Station layer, just remember, it's established a connection from the computer A to computer B and will maintain that connection and will terminate that connection as well. Now, transport, huge, right? Transport, that's when we have. TCP and UDP. And I'm gonna go in more detail once we go over uh, in one video just to talk about the transport, but what I can tell you right now, these two um, protocols, TCP and UDP, work on the transport layer. TCP, that's basically um, like the, uh, a FedEx, right, or, or UPS. When you're gonna send something, let's say you're gonna send a message, it will get guaranteed it's gonna get there. If some way or another, this message, the message from computer A to computer B get lost, a, a fragment of it, it, what it's gonna get, end up doing is gonna recover, okay, that, that, that portion. So remember, just on the transport layer, TCP, UDP, UDP is just basically when computer A and computer B sends the message, it's like, I'm just gonna send it to you. If you get it, good. If you're not, I don't care. You know, it's unreliable. But TCP, unreliable because he uses the three hand, three way handshake, okay? But once again, I'm gonna talk about it more when we talk about the, only the transport layer. Now, what else can I say about the network layer, right? So routers, what else? IP addresses, oh yeah, protocols. We're talking about protocols. So one of the protocols, I'm gonna put one, this one right here, routers and the network. That will be protocols, IP, uh, and obviously that's IP version four. There's a 32 bit, we have the IP, uh, version six, and that's 128 bit. We have ICMP, uh, and that we use for when we ping, right? When we use uh, the ping command. And another one, there we go, IRP, right? Address resolution protocol. Now, what else? That's it. So let's jump into the uh, data, uh, data link. Uh, layer, layer two, right? So um, let me just put this one right here. We know the MAC addresses work right there too. Uh, data link layer, what else can I say about data link layer? Oh, we're talking about protocols. One of them obviously is ethernet, basically what we use. Uh, another thing that I can tell you about the data link layer, it you're gonna be uh, find a lot of information online about link control and media. So it basically divides, the data layer, it will divide it in two. And that basically is logical link control and tap logical link control and media access control. And that's divided just basically on the data link layer. Also we know about the data link layer, that's MAC addresses, physical addresses, we have switches, 
uh, the protocol, the more likely we use Ethernet. Now about physical, what can I say about physical? We already talked about everything about, uh, about the physical layer, layer, right? So we got bits, uh, and those bits go from point A to point B through um, electrical, through light, or through radio waves. I hope you like this video. I hope uh, that video, it's under 10 minutes. That was kind of uh, what I was going for. And I hope you got a lot of value out of it. If you like this video, remember to share it to like it, any comments will be great. And once again, look for those videos that I'm gonna be posting because I'm gonna do one video of each of the uh, layers of the OSI model so you know more, so I can provide more value to you, okay? So you make sure you go out there, you kick some ass, make things happen for you, for your family, and I will talk to you soon.